Hello my friends! I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. It is Order of Battle. It finally won the vote. It's uh, seen as the other major World War II game. With the other one being of course Panzer Corps 2. And there is an unbelievably vast amount of uh, campaigns that come with this game. It's uh... I think there's like 13 of them. But we're going to start with the one that came with the game, which is the Pacific Campaign. Uh, the Pacific Campaign is boot camp and then US Pacific. You can just sort of vaguely see the line here linking them up. Alright, let's go. Normally I would skip tutorials, but uh, apparently the boot camp campaign is actually part of the Pacific campaign, so we should do it. Okay, let's go maximum difficulty because I'm a bit crazy like that. I do know, I do know a reasonable amount about this game, but I've never really sat down and played it in depth. But I know, I know a reasonable amount about it because I've uh, I've made trailers and stuff for it. Okay, this may be the start of a long, a long journey. All right. Welcome to Boot Camp Island. Capture all primary VPs. Complete mission within 25 turns. Destroy all enemy units. Zero of eight. Seems simple enough. I guess these golden units are my core units, and that these units here are auxiliaries. Hundred and fifty two to upgrade that to an M three Lee. How much to purchase an M three Lee? Hundred and ninety. Ninety five for the Stuart. So you get half your money back if you upgrade a unit. Something to consider. I'm going to presume that I don't want to get too far ahead of myself with the tank here. Let's go and put that away. <clears throat> you don't start with any money, so... Okay, one thing that threw me off about this game is, um, this is, this, this represents how many kills you'll get. It does not represent, um, it does not represent how many losses you'll take, which is pretty standard for this kind of game. Okay, we have a unit behind enemy lines. And there's a bunker in the way. Guess we gotta get rid of that bunker. Okay, let's start with this. I knew it. I knew I was going to take a casualty. I only did two damage there. Okay, so there's some R there's some RNG in the game, that's for sure.
Let's see if I can maneuver these units around. Alright, we have captured one of Red Team's bases. And gained some resources. 45 prestige. I'm guessing that's not enough to actually do anything. Okay, there's another enemy unit there. Um... Okay, like, infantry is super cheap. Can sort recon cars. Tanks are actually incredibly expensive going by these prices. I mean, even the aircraft are half the price of a tank. Maybe what I need to do is surround these guys and cut off their supply. Oof. I took some serious clap back there. Probably won't get a kill if I do this. Well, if I should repair this. Yeah, it only costs four points. Five points for the core unit. Okay, in theory, he's not connected to a base now, so that should be... Sufficient to ruin his day. Oh yeah, look, he didn't attack. Okay, one more turn and they're done. Okay. What are you up? 20... Um, hang on. Still another six units out there to kill. is the uh, correct answer to the bunker. I should probably repair these auxiliary units just because I'm going to need them to actually win the mission.
All oh, right, that is the bunker assassinated. Five more units to take down. I'll stop repairing these in a minute. Opposing team's main base lies just ahead. Taking this objective will be the main challenge for today's exercise. Except that their anti-tank gun is at the front, so... I guess I can just rush the infantry forward and dump strip. A group of transport ships has arrived, containing Marine Corps recruits. If they can find their way to the correct beach, they may actually become a useful part of this exercise. Anti-tank gun on the run. Get it. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Wow, they moved out of their position. That seemed like a bad idea. I guess they moved out of their position to cut off the tank, but... Use the auxiliaries first to absorb the hurt. Okay, that was easy enough. Okay, make sure your supply ship is positioned against the coastline to support the landing force. That's fine. What's it? Three enemies left, and I can see two of them. I'd better use this first or I'm going to take unnecessary losses. Finish them. <clears throat> Alright, there's the last unit. Jeep does not seem to the 
Jeep does not seem to acquire territory. Oh, they moved. Okay, I'll lay into them in a second. Two for two. One for two. I mean, these are auxiliary units, so there's no real harm in me mincing them down. Oh, they moved out. What a blunder. Although sadly, my tank cannot move now, which is unhelpful. Anyway, I'll take the base and that will secure my supply chain. Okay, the Marines are starting to win that battle. No, don't run, I want to be a friend. Don't run! Let's be friends. Okay, I'm going to presume that I do not want to take that base until I have actually killed the enemy. Otherwise I'll fail the secondary objective. Awfully realistic training exercise. I mean, these guys are getting smoked. Sweet. That's it, mission complete. That was easy. Easy-ish. Now what? Have to end the turn? Okay, have to end the turn. <laughs> this batch of recruits has performed well today. They slaughtered their colleagues. <laughs> now we will hang them from posts in our garden. No, I don't want to save a replay. You have gained five new specialization points. Let us consult the specialization panel. 
Newly purchased infantry units start with one experience star. Okay, it's nice. Tanks start with one experience star. That's also nice. Infantry units generate resources when damaged in combat, but not destroyed or forced to retreat. A medical jeep is added to our core forces. That sounds really nice. If it affects auxiliaries, it might be a way to extract value from auxiliary forces. Just thinking about farming prestige here. Newly purchased naval units start with one experience star. You know, this is a Pacific campaign, right? So it's going to be ocean based. I think we'll buy this. We'll probably have to start acquiring ships soon, right? It's a naval game. You have to save up for the medical one, but I'm pretty sure that most of this campaign is going to be based in the sea, so... Okay, alright, that's it for now. That's the first mission done. I hope you guys are looking forward to what may become a long and interesting journey in order of battle. There are, I mean, you know, there's 13 DLCs for this game, and I'm only just starting it now. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a long, a long campaign, but uh, hopefully it'll be an interesting one. So, uh, I mean, my first thoughts on the game, you know, maybe a little closer to Panzer General than, um, than Panzer Corps 2. We'll have to see how it all plays out. Um, the system very much seems to reward mobbing the enemy with lots of units, as opposed to having the correct unit. That's my first thought. If you have lots and lots of units surrounding the enemy, the, uh, the damage calculations change quite severely. In Panzer Corps 2, the, uh, the bonus for mobbing units is inconsequential. So, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode.